Hi guys, welcome to our bow hunter round table. So this is an opportunity that we're gonna to take to kind of sit around and discuss uh, some of our favorite products of the year or some products that we really enjoyed and uh, kind of give our full opinion on things we like, things we don't like. And uh, this, we're gonna start that off with the Mission Sub One. which by far has been a topic of discussion on the podcast. It's been a discussion that we've had around the studio here. Kind of let's start it off. I mean, Jimmy, what did you think of this? You did the test lab on this, yeah. correct? I mean, I'll just start it off for my full thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. It's the best crossbow I've ever shot. It's easy to shoot. It's easy to cock. You can decock it yep. yeah, with, the, with the cocker, the cocking rope. I mean... <laughs> just amazing right the thing i found amazing with this uh, this crossbow was being a rifle shooter i was just blown away by the trigger on it mm -hmm. it triggers a competition trigger yep. and there's no creep on it just thoroughly an accurate trigger it's going to improve your accuracy it's going it, to it, it just fun to shoot yeah. Just yeah. really fun. I for me I just I like the idea that it's so easy to cock compared to some other crossbows right. it, that'll give you three hundred and fifty feet per second. I mean yeah. it's a fast shooting bow and I can cock it and and then decocking it, I mean I love the idea of being able to hunt with this thing, decock it easily in the field and carry it out with no worry about, you know. Yeah. Now, Kevin, you're the one that shot this most recently, and you actually just did a little bit of work with Dave on decocking it and cocking it. Yeah. Now, do you know how many pounds this crossbow is? I don't. If you had to guess based on, now I'm glad you don't know because this, this leads me to what I want to say. So <laughs> if you had to guess how many pound draw weight this is, what would be your guess? I, I mean, 80 to 100. Yeah. It's actually 200 pounds. I was no. going to say really? Yeah. Yeah. It seems like, to me, it seems like, you know, when I when I hunt with a bow and there's a let off on the cam, it seems like there's a let off. It starts yeah. out kind of hard and then it gets easy. Mm -hmm. it, is, so is it rolling over and letting off? Is there some type of Yeah, help I mean, there? when you look at the track, I mean, the cam track's actually something like we haven't really seen in some of the other crossbows out there. I mean, when we look at a compound bow string track and the cables, you actually see an area where there's going to be the increase in poundage all the way down to the let off. Mm -hmm. Normally we're seeing a lot of those real simple cam designs that you're, right. you're going to see on a lot of common bows out there, a lot of common crossbows. Uh -huh. And mainly it's just been become, they have so many of them and they've designed it so well. This one actually has let off in it. So okay. you can, you can actually see the area where you're going to see the dump off of the actual poundage. And yeah, you definitely feel it. I mean, I mean, it starts out feeling one way and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, it's nothing. Cause yeah. usually, some of the crossbows, you can get them up so far, and then that final part, you're just yeah. really straining your back and everything. Mm -hmm. None of that with this. That's that's. This can be my crossbow. Right? The other thing I I found that I <laughs> I really really do like about the mission. It's one of the few crossbows I've seen that ha actually has a level incorporated into the limb system. Yep. Yeah, they've actually got a lot of cool things. I mean, they went to the built-in foot stirrup just to the yeah. front of the bow. I mean, they are not didn't add the whole front handle like they had before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this bow is actually kind of interesting for me because I do follow the tournament circuit a lot. So one thing that I've really followed is the fact that this bow's actually swept the ASAs, uh, the podium on the ASA tournament circuit this year for the national level oh, at really? every ASA tournament this year. So. They swept first, second, first, second, third. First, second, third for the whole whole year, as far as oh. I've seen. So, I mean, but you can see why. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really. I think you could easily get three shots off in two minutes. Well, not even that. It's just ASA, so it's three D, three D target. So oh, I mean, that too. yeah. So I mean, three D eight killed there. I mean, and it swept the podium at Vegas this year in the crossbow class. So yeah, super well. super crazy. The only I thing I don't this. like, and I will say it, is the price point. I think we're getting a, we're we're getting a little high on the price point. It's where are we like at with this? Fifteen ninety nine and sixteen ninety nine. I want to say I mean, it's sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, sorry, they start at fourteen ninety nine. So I mean, of course, when you get them all added up with the the quiver, yeah. the levels, all the, the the fancier scopes, upgraded stuff, you're gonna get in that sixteen seventeen hundred price point. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if that's where crossbows are headed because of the technology. I mean, definitely, yeah. I could see I could see arguments for it. 
Yeah. Well, you know what? I look at it like this. I mean, let's say, for example, that this is going to be the crossbow that you hunt with, you target you with, you do mm -hmm. everything with. And you look at it compared to you go out and buy a $1,600, $1,700 rifle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and think nothing of it. Mm -hmm. And I would probably hunt more with this than I would with a rifle yeah. that I, because, you know, gun season's kind of short for a, a oh, rifle, yeah. and this thing you can hunt from the start of October till, you know, uh, January yeah, 1st. I mean, everything seems to upgrade from the handle mm -hmm. to the, you know, the stock. Yeah. It's it all Just adjustable. Good finger Air retention holder. Yeah. I mean, it's... The scope is good too because I like a I like a lighted scope that I can see clearly. Yeah, it's green and, and red. The, the optics, optics are so. clear. The other thing adjustable. that a lot of crossbow hunters will appreciate is how narrow this bow yeah. is. Yep. Extremely narrow, easy to get in and out of uh, yeah. the woods. You're blind. About the only thing that I would say, like you talk about, you know, something you didn't. So I can see myself in the winter time with big boots on having a little trouble getting my foot into the in stirrup area. you know yeah. like it doesn't have the big uh stirrup that you can step large hunting yeah. boots into but that being said i haven't tried it so maybe yeah. it's not as bad as i think but just looking at it it seems a little tight mm -hmm. yeah we'll have to see it i mean especially with the weight being adjustable and you can adjust that weight down if uh, you have anybody else who needs the lower weight to cock it back. So I mean, mm -hmm. definitely some feature a feature rich bow. I mean, maybe we're seeing that price point because of the technology mm -hmm. that they've hammered into this bow. Maybe five years from now we might see it a little lower. But yeah. all right, guys. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for here. Go ahead and uh, let's have you join the conversation. So we kind of gave you our feedback on what we think of the sub one. But please take the opportunity to comment below on. Um, on your feelings on the bow, maybe some questions that you have that we'd be able to answer for you. We will try our best to get to every single one of those questions. And uh, make sure you join us on the Bowhunter Planet podcast where we talk about some of the newest things out there as far as crossbows, compound bows, and hunting. And uh, we'll see you next time.